Getting people to fall in love's a tough job, and Cupid really needs us around. Especially on our one favorite day of the year. That's St. Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, the whole world is in love. Oh, not me. Hey, Buster, if we say you're in love, you're in love. Look. Two of your best friends fell in love on Valentine's Day. Mickey was just taking a stroll in the park, and then, bam! He knew Minnie was the one for him. Minnie liked Mickey, too. But the romance took off only when a certain person got involved. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Ready to fall in love? Well, uh, I don't know yet. Maybe your problem is that you don't understand all about Valentine's Day. So, so listen, listen up. up! First, you're probably asking yourself, Hey, what's the story with all these hearts? Well, for a long time, people have believed that the emotion of love comes from your heart. That's why legends say that Cupid shoots his magic arrows into people's hearts. So they'll fall in love. Gosh, I've felt that before. I thought it was heartburn. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, honest. Anyway, because people think love comes from the heart, you see a lot of hearts on Valentine's Day cards. Back in the old days, people wrote their own cards. In the 1700s and 1800s, Valentine cards were very romantic. They had hearts, and flowers, and angels, and lace, and pictures of... Oh, oh, hey, that's our boss! Here, we'll read one for you. Dearest Valentine, if you would consent to be my heart's delight, my soul would soar on love's wings of flight. Pretty mushy. Okay, so it's mushy. Listen to this one, Tiny. To my sweet Valentine, be mine, my dearest, on this special day, and I will cherish your love in every way. <laughs> mushy, mushy, mushy. Hey, if you don't like these, make your own. Lots of people do. Or they send funny cards like this one. I'm looking for a valentine, intelligent and true. But if you cannot be these things, anyone will do. <laughs> oh, well, that's a funny one. But I'm still not ready to fall in love. Hmm. Your friend Donald was a tough case, too. Here, I'll let Daisy tell you about it. Thank you. Yes, Donald finally got my attention. But it wasn't easy. He tried to show me that we were both interested in the finer things of life, like books. He tried to make sure our paths would cross. He tried to let me know he needed my help. And finally, I took the direct approach. Good for you. Then you two fell in love, and Donald started catching on to some other Valentine's Day traditions like giving flowers and a little present. Oh, falling in love. You're probably wondering how come we say people fall in love. No. Well, I'm telling you anyway. Some people think falling in love is like really falling because it seems like you're not in control. Sometimes we say somebody's so much in love that he can't see straight. Or we say that she's lost her head. Or that he's got stars in his eyes. And it's true that people do some nutty things to show off for somebody they love. Even so, it's fun to be in love. Sooner or later, it may even happen to you. Oh, not me. 
come on. Even our favorite dog goes into action on Valentine's Day. Watch and pay attention. Oh, it looks like she's not paying any attention to him. Let's see what he does now. Mm -hmm. He's gonna give her a nice present. Of course, presents won't make somebody like you, but it's a nice gesture to give somebody a little token of how you feel. What? Oh, looks like she's got a jealous boyfriend. There's no place for jealousy on Valentine's Day. Let's ask Donald. Of course, Donald, you didn't always feel that way. Being jealous isn't a very nice way of showing love. And it usually backfires. Now let's see, have you got all that? Well, Valentine's Day is a day to show other people how you feel about them. For example, by sending them a pretty Valentine's Day card. Or by giving them something nice. Not that way, that way. So even if you usually aren't a warm-hearted person, it's nice to warm up to somebody special. Or just to let your friends know you care. You've got it! Yep, even you are going to get a big bang out of being in love. <laughs> so how about you? I'll bet there's somebody who'd love to get a Valentine's Day greeting from you. A card or just a word. If, if that's, that's not true, true then, then our name's not Val and Tiny. And, and you know, know that Valentine's Val and is our name. Our name. And, and love's our game. game. Especially, Especially on, on Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs>